Hello friends, my name is Katie from Eternal Flame and today I am so excited to share with you all a quick unboxing of my latest Ferris Wheel Press inks as well as this new carousel pen. So if you're interested in checking that out, please stick around. Thanks everyone. Before we get right into this video and the unboxing, I did want to take a quick moment to thank you all so very much for taking the time to join me today. As always, I very much appreciate your engagement, so if you're interested in checking out some of these items, please feel free to use the link and my discount code for 10% off, which is very simply K-A-T-I-E in all caps on the um, in the description box down below, as well as, as feel free to leave me any comments or suggestions in the comment section down below. So as always, I have broken out my Midori um, MD paper notebook here that I have not packed specifically so that I can share this unboxing with you all. If you've been watching my other videos, you'll know that I'm face deep in a move um, interstate from New York to Maryland. Super excited but very stressed. <laughs> so I thought I'd take a moment to relax and spend some time with you all doing what I love, which is stationery and of course fountain pens and fountain ink from Ferris Wheel Press. So today, I will not lie, is uh, September 3rd, uh, Sunday, September 3rd. I actually lost track of time. Honestly, I did not think that we were in September yet. I went and had to pull up my, um, my iPad and everything and it was just like, my goodness, where has the time gone? So this is the September 1st launch date for these three items. I am super excited. Uh, we have a little bit of, it looks like reds, which actually matches my shirt today. <laughs> uh, not planned. It's called Cabernet on the Lake. So I think we're going to do maybe this one first and then do a swatch of this one since these seem to go together. Brilliant, <laughs> brilliant beanstalk. And as always, I really do like to just give you a 360 of the packaging so you can see the level of detail, attention to detail. Um, of their products. This one is compatible with all fountain pens and dip pens uh, used for your next jerk of genius. Look at this beautiful birdie here. So as mentioned in previous videos, I used to throw away these boxes and realize that that was actually a mistake for several reasons. I mean, they just put so much um, effort into making these beautifully designed boxes. That is just really a shame, but it also gives you a really nice visual of the color to expect when you're using the ink as well as the fact that the bottles don't actually have the name of the ink so if not that I'm going to purchase multiple bottles of uh, one of these inks but especially for sharing with you all um, the different inks it makes it quite difficult actually I lied so this one obviously does say Hampton Harbor Sage which is from a previous month but for these smaller ones is this the I'm trying to figure out these smaller round bottles they don't say it on on the bottle itself so they do have the sticker on the bottom um and i think this was song of scarlet off the top of my head but that's also why this little book for swatching is really helpful so what i like to do is not only do a swatch here um, but also use the day like the day of the unboxing in my hobonichi a6 english tetro as a swatch page as well and or use it to journal and throw some stickers down so i don't really have stickers um or washi tape set up to do an actual plan with me today but i'll just kind of show that to you um maybe maybe start journaling a little bit by the end of this video all right so let's get right into it i thought i said i would do this one first so that i could use these together in the future i'm going to set this aside for now and see how it goes oh my goodness i'm sorry <laughs> all my stickers just like fell okay and here we go so super, super excited. I do have my Kakimori dip pen, go-to, absolute favorite. I've been waiting for the glass nib to come in and honestly, I don't think it's coming. I saw it restock on the Kakimori site, but I bought it from like an off site that said that they would pre-order and then uh, once it became available, they would release the order and then, I don't know, I've just never seen it. So <laughs> I probably got scammed <laughs> of like $50, but that's okay. <laughs> I should probably check on that. All right, so this is Cabernet on the lake. So beautiful, 38 milliliters and um, really inspired by this. I've been absolutely loving um, 
Okay, so my absolute favorite wine was Riesling, so white. I don't love dry too much, and so I kind of shied away from reds, thinking they were all super dry. Um, and then I discovered Bordeaux in France with my friend Sarah, and since then have um, really, really been enjoying wines from that region. And recently, my actually my first love was Rosé, and I've been recently trying to go back to that, go back to my love for Rosé and explore. So I like to tilt it a little bit to bring the ink up so that I don't get it on the side of the wood because the wood does um, could stain. I try to wash it off pretty quickly. So I gave it a good shake. Put this here. And so this is, put it down here, the release for, let's see if I can pull it up here. So the launch date was September, so I'm going to write September here. Ooh. I don't think I left enough space. Yeah, please don't mind my handwriting. <laughs> As you can tell, I am not a calligrapher. <laughs> um, so let's see if I can copy what I've been doing in the past. So, oh my goodness, that is so beautiful. I wish I did this near this Song of Scarlet so you can see the difference. Um, this is a very like bright, bright red, which I can really appreciate. So this is F, W, you can see I've also really loaded it up this time. That's why it's so thick here. <laughs> you know what? It's okay. I'm going to be forgiving of self. I hope you guys will forgive me as well. So this is... And um, so this is already launched, and let's read a little bit about it. Um, pack your favorite hand knit blanket and accompany Bernice the Bear <laughs> on a delightful frolic through the picturesque vineyards of the Niagara Wine region. Oh, where rolling hills and lush vineyards beckon. This is so interesting. I um, I don't know. Maybe someone, one of you viewers, can help educate me. So I think it's so interesting that a lot of um, so. My understanding is that Ferris Wool Press is actually based in um, Canada. Yes, <laughs> in Canada, sorry for that. And so it's very interesting that a lot of their, um, I feel like a lot of their inks are inspired by our national parks. Um, I think there was Malibu Blush was one of the releases recently. This one is obviously that in Niagara region, which is very familiar to me. I actually uh, went to school up there. So I, I love that though. It's definitely relatable. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I definitely loaded up this pen. But it's good that I did because you can actually see um, the characteristics of the ink better. I think when there's more of it pooling and then let's see what else have I done here I think that's about it okay so I don't want to hold it up too long what I'm going to do is actually switch gears and then also write it in here usually I like to throw down stickers that will match but because I don't have anything within arm's reach really right now. I guess I have this guy here. They don't really match, but that's okay. <laughs> these are kind of funny. Um, I can throw these down. And I'll just write. It's definitely really of ink. <laughs> 
So very interesting. I'm excited to kind of see what the the brilliant beanstalk was inspired by. So I'm going to set this aside. Typically I would rinse it right away, but because we're doing this video, I'm going to forego that and we're going to fill up this fountain pen. All right. So we have a carousel fountain pen here and it seems to match the ink of this month. This month is brilliant beanstalk. Um, and then let's see, climb up and don't look down. Oh my goodness. I love that nurture um, and care will yield a stock strong enough to bring you to new heights. Oh my goodness. Well, each step may feel more monolithic than the last. With perseverance and courage, you can reach the clouds and discover a lifetime of treasures. I love that so much. So this is a 20 milliliter um, box, or sorry, bottle of ink. And it's through the Fairy Tales collection, so I'll write that down. And just in case you're curious, the base is green, there's no sheen, the shimmer is champagne, and high shading. Very excited for that. Okay, as you can see, the box got a little damaged, always. <laughs> um, and you know, it's traveling a long way. So BBK, ooh, it's so beautiful, I can already tell. And if you've been watching my other videos, thank you so, so much, I really appreciate it. But you've been knowing that then, I, you know, I actually haven't released it yet, so. Actually, you wouldn't know, but you may know in the future when I do release the video that I just bought this Preserve Reserve, no, Private Reserve Ink <laughs> in avocado from Amazon. It was so affordable and um, been absolutely loving it. So I'm super excited to diversify my collection of green inks to include this beanstalk. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and try to simultaneously... <laughs> Um, read the, like a part of the description here. All right, so Beanstalk also releasing September 1st, so already launched. Um, it's a new addition to the Fairy Tales collection, and the ink tone is light green with a champagne shimmer. Beautiful, that sounds absolutely gorgeous. And um, characteristics of fresh, natural, leafy, and airy. Okay, I'm going to read the first uh, line here for you all. In the enchanted realm where giants roam, so oh, I opened both already, uh, where giants roam and mystical beanstalks reach for the heavens, join Princess Patch as she embarks on a perilous journey to procure the shimmering golden champagne egg from the clutches of a slumbering giant. That's beautiful. I love, love, love the imagination that is involved. Okay, so I have some paper towel here. I'll try to use as little as possible though and let's see what we can do here whilst on camera okay oops excuse me oh beautiful green okay kind of like an evergreen green all right so we have this guy here what i'm going to try to do this time is actually dip this in so i pull the what do you call this all the way up shake it up at all i'll get in there and then and then i like to plunge down there you go plunger plunge down with it submerged and then plunge back up i feel i feel like i get the best success for fill that way and in my opinion as long as it's more than 60 but really closer to 80 i did a pretty good pull so that's pretty good there i'm gonna push them in her up and look at that i didn't even need to use my paper towel <laughs> great i was actually worried about that i was thinking to myself you know that's really wasteful um so what i'm going to do instead is use my handy dandy notebook <laughs> and um push down a little bit to get the ink running and it looks like that's all it needed oh my goodness it's so beautiful okay so let's set that aside and um close this guy back up it's a twist off here and Let's see at the nib. Let's give you a close up of the nib here. I'm trying to see if I can read it. I want to say it has an M. This nib looks very different from the previous ones, so curious. Maybe it's not at all though. <laughs> okay, and then this one, I can't really do a swatch like I would normally. Okay, and this one, Beanstalk, Brilliant Beanstalk.
This is gorgeous. What I love about this is the dusty kind of feels, I feel like, it, that it has. Um, you can tell that I have a lot more control with this one because I didn't over dip, <laughs> over saturate my pen. Um, but yes, I like how it's very muted and very different from my avocado. And I can actually show you a direct comparison between this one and the avocado. So you can see, I think, see if I have the avocado nearby. We'll try it, but I don't know that it's actually in this pen. Oh yes, so you can see how deep um, and I feel like rich the avocado is comparative to this nice muted neutral gray, grayish um, green, <laughs> which is really funny because I was just talking to my friend Carly over lunch um, and I've been digging these cottage type styled kitchens where they paint like their cabinets this color and things anyways <laughs> and i also have i think the pans in my kitchen from caraway that i also you can pick up on amazon um and this like sage green colors i've been really digging those neutral green tones anyways friends i hope you enjoyed this quick unboxing today i am probably gonna go ahead and finish off this video by um I guess just writing in here this other color and then close it out but thank you so much for joining me today and i hope to see you in the next one bye friends